Graham's different, you know, he's not he's not your average man, he's not your average artist, you know. Even if you didn't like his artwork, if you met him, you'd buy it. He's not backward at coming forward, and uh, I can see why for that reason, that, that, that he certainly is, is selling so well at the minute. He's at the right place at the right time, and his appeal is international. It's just a love of expressing himself, that's it. It's just a love of what he's doing. Lithography is quite a complicated uh, system of producing a print. It's basically uh, based on the fact that oil and water don't mix. First of all, I've got to prepare the stone, so I would prepare the stone by graining. That is, I use a particular method of making sure that the stone is flat. So once I've done that, then I would draw onto the stone with a wax oil-based crayon. Having drawn onto that stone, then I prepare the etches, which are made up of nitric acid and gum arabic in certain proportions. If, for example, I use the wrong proportions, maybe I use too much nitric acid, then it means that uh, it, would be, it wouldn't take the ink, it would be over. Inked. If you use too little nitric acid, it would fill in with ink. And it's when you see the final, going, the stone going through the press, that you know that you have a good print or a bad print. When you peel it off, the heart's starting to beat faster and the emotions are involved. In fact, and when you get a good print, boy, you feel good. People think of prints that, uh, you know, oh, what's a print? It's nothing. It just goes through a photocopier. But that's not true. An actual original print involves an awful lot of work. So there's none of these computerized uh, photo photocopies or anything like that. It's an actual process involving artwork and chemistry. And there's a good marriage of both of them. I think Graham can be a, a significant international artist. And uh, whether he wants to go that far is, is up to Graham. But I believe he has the, the wherefore to, uh, to do it. I think Graham will sell a lot of work. Uh, I think it is appealing to people. There's a sense of loss at times. There's a sense of hope for the future. Uh, there's a sense of, of joy of living. Uh, that's nice. At the age that people are talking about going for longer walks with their dogs, um, Graham has just done something completely different. Um, and he's really good at it. The average lifespan after a civil servant actually leaves the civil service is somewhere between 18 months and two years. And it's because they lose interest, they've got no interest, unless you get your mind focused into something, have a happy, fulfilling life with a purpose. Life must have a purpose, and that is essential to my mind. If you don't have a purpose in life, you're going to die.